going on Facebook friends. This is Janet with Love and the Bleed Designs and I wanted to show you a little trick I'm doing. I'm trying to organize my um, fabrics and that I use for my sewing and things like that for my embroidery and patterns. And right now my shelf is empty because it is all over here. And what I'm doing is I am um, I am organizing it in a way where I I found on the internet that you could um, use comic book um, comic book covers actually those little cardboard covers that people have seen you know on Amazon you can get them on Amazon well I didn't want to buy them because they're like 16 for a thing of a hundred and I knew I probably would use a hundred and I thought, you know, there's going to be an easier way or maybe a less expensive way. So, then was I found this. Um, basically, it's kind of like cardboard, thick cardboard from Dollar Tree. And it comes in a really big piece like this. Okay. So, um, it is about 29 by... 20 29 by 20 and I uh, you really don't care you don't really need to care what color you get they do at Dollar Tree there's black and white so you really don't need to care what color you get and I kind of I'm cutting them down to seven by um, nine and a half that's what I'm cutting them down to so basically um, not perfect I mean some of these aren't perfect but it's okay um, so I'm cutting them down to little pieces like this, basically making my own um, comic book cover or comic book cardboard to fold my fabric. And I thought it would be cheaper doing that than it is buying the... And also, the reason why I wanted to do that is it's a lot thicker, right? And when doing that, being being a little bit more thicker than the comic book cardboard you get at Walmart, I mean at Amazon... Um, you can put these pins in the fabric and if you do it ever so slightly, they go in the cardboard instead of coming out of the car the back of the fabric. So what I'm talking about is this right here. I folded this up and I stuck a pin here and you notice it's not on the other side. So that's what I did. And that's what I've been doing for all these. I'm using those little cardboards. And I also have this poster board, okay, for to make little fat quarters cardboard. Little thin ones, right? I didn't want to waste the thick ones on maybe a small piece of fabric, not basically let fabric that's less than half a yard like this little piece I'm not going to use it with these cardboards I'm going to use it use like a little thin piece and make it into a, a nice harder fat quarter and stick them in a little shelf like that so eventually I'll end up sorting these once I get all the cardboard and the cardstock you know my fat quarters folded back up nice and neatly I will sort them in checks patterns i um things like that then maybe by color but i'm not really sure probably gonna be by pattern because i don't want to do it by color i maybe do all the polka dots together all the checks together maybe all my um anything that has to do with disney or characters anything that has to do with fourth of july anything that has to do with christmas together things like that that's what i'm going to do so stay tuned and I will show you when it's all organized. So here is the final result. I did get tired and finally just kind of said forget it and threw some of these that I, these are things that I would get like at Walmart. They're rolled up fat quarters and I was going to um, put them with a little piece of cardboard but I just got tired and just threw those there. But I do have them like sorted with holiday like this is more 4th of July and then I got some fishies um actually this should be up there 
I wanted to keep the mermaid and stuff together. Um, so this is like, this is dolphin. I guess this needs to go here. I got this from my daughter. She likes Shimu. So that really needs to go there. So I'll just stick it right there for right now. But um, I got my plaids, plaid. This is like miscellaneous colors. Plaid, plaid, fishies, like mermaid scales. Got a donut in here. This is Christmas and fall. And this is more like um, Easter, birthday, pinks. And this is 4th of July. Um, I do have some sports, some floral, floral. And then you got some kind of miscellaneous with some bubble bees and bugs, frogs. And all these are my fat quarters. And they're just kind of miscellaneous in there. I mean, I try to get them like dinosaurs, boys, rainbow, some more camo some sports up there so and then these are all fat quarters as well so i didn't really want to unroll a fat quarter and put them in a, when they're already on they're already have still have cardboard on there and then down here is like um comic dc comics mickey mouse star wars i leave it down there because i really don't do much um appliques with those one they are a licensed product and I don't really use them much. I only got them when I first started out thinking, oh, way, I'm going to start making a bunch of stuff with these. And then I realized, you know, I really shouldn't be selling them because they are a licensed product. So I don't. Um, so those are kind of just stashed down there because I never hardly touches them. And then here is stuff that I wouldn't roll in a, in a cardboard because it's just so thick anyway. This is that, um, like a fluffy material. It's really thick anyway for um, my kids' blankets, kids' blankets and stuff. So that's what it looks like so far. I think it is a lot cleaner than it was before, a lot more organized. I can see the actual image, you know, the patterns really well. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this for anyone who wants to try to organize their fabric. And this is just a, um, a wooden four cube shelving unit from like Big Lots. So, thanks for watching.